based on the latest incident that led to the escalation of violence in several states. We, the professors and students from a Bronx institution as diverse as Ostos Community College, want to peacefully protest against the cruelty inflicted by the recent developments in Minneapolis. We are not going to let this violence divide us. We want to propose a peaceful protest in every city in the U.S. and across the nation. We need to hear the voices of everyone against the violence inflicted upon George Floyd to all the previous victims, as we have seen in attacks based on race. Please, protest from home. Join us from home. Or if you happen to be on the street, from the street. In our peaceful protest to give tribute to the life of this good man and to demand what we need for our society. We suggest giving tribute to the life of George Floyd every night at 9 p.m. starting today. And we will continue until we have a response from our political leaders. Turn off all the light of your place. Let's have a moment of silence with the screens of our phones or flashlights out the window pointing towards the sky to give light. We all feel the suffering of these community. We are all part of the entire community that is suffering the loss of George Floyd. We appreciate diversity and are proud of our differences. And from these differences, we want to show collective resilience against violence and racism under this COVID-19 crisis and beyond. We Demand. The immediate arrest and precisely charges of all the officials involved in the murder of George Floyd and other violent actions and discriminations against the Black community. An official apology from the President of the United States, from our governors and from all world leaders for the present and past racial discrimination in every country, whether slavery, humiliation, and aggression against communities based on race was inflicted and allowed, especially towards the black communities. We demand an official apology from the police force for failing to protect all individuals in our community, regardless of their race. A promise that this year, and in particular, the day of George Floyd's death, May 25th, 2020, will be the last act of violence against a person of color in the history of America. The enforcement of law and of punishment to any individual who promotes discrimination and violent acts based on race. Full resources and an increase in support to disfavored communities for health, education, and stability and the COVID-19 crisis situation. And we want a serious commitment to acknowledge and address racism and violence in our own institutions, workplaces, and communities. And begin eradicating it in our own societies. Ahora, now. We propose this peaceful action in the name of everyone discriminated by the color of their skin. George Floyd. Christian Cooper. Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, Botham Jean, and Atatiana Jefferson, Jonathan Farrell, and Renisha McBride, Stefan Clark, Jordan Edwards, Jordan Davis, Alton Sterling, Ayanna Jones, Michael Brown, Tamir Rice, Trayvon Martin, Shim Bell, Rilando Castillo, Oscar Grant, Sandra Blum, 
Corey Jones. My brother, John Crawford. Terrence Crutcher. Kate Scott. Clifford Glover. Claude Lee. Randy Evans. Amadou Diallo. Yvonne Smallgood. Walter Scott. Eric Garner. Freddie Gray. And many others that suffered discrimination over the years in all our nations. Black Lives Matter. <laughs>